So here she is upset and bothered about something. How does she release serotonin and make more serotonin? Talk. She wants to talk about what's bothering her. She wants to talk about problems. As soon as you talk about problems, you're presenting, here's a truckload of problems. A man's stress level shoots up. The only way for men to face and look at a problem and not have his stress level shoot up is to take action and solve it or kill it. So a woman starts to talk, what we want to do is solve it or kill it or go away. It's our instincts, it's our genetic programming, you can't change that. That's the most important thing. If this room has one exit, you can't complain that you can't leave that way or that way or that way. You've got to find a way out. You've got to live within the reality. Now culture, cultures that have developed thousands of years or hundreds of years at least, the younger cultures, is a way of thinking, a way of living that supports individuals. And particularly our cultures support men getting what they need through their lifestyle, women getting what they need. And today we don't have a culture yet that is gender intelligent, that supports men and women in coping with the new stress of the incredible positive progress we're making. Because as the gender intelligence has create, has increased, there's an evolution here. Of women having way more freedom to express a wholeness inside of them. For men having way more freedom to express a wholeness in them. For me as a man, one of the greatest fulfillments I've had is the ability to be with my children. And to care for my children right along with my wife. Instead of just being in a coal mine, never seeing my children at all. But finding my fulfillment by making a sacrifice for a noble cause. And it was fulfilling to some extent. But what greater fulfillment, when I can... Go in my coal mine, but create enough time to see the children that I'm caring for, to be with my children. What a great life for men to have both the masculine and the feminine growing inside of him. And for women, my daughters, all with their education, with their jobs, with their careers, and with their families, my little grandchildren. What a great opportunity for them. So that they can express their masculine side, which they go out and have a career, have challenges, face things, grow, education, all that that women didn't do in the past, and balance that with a personal life, a fulfilling life, where everything isn't about money. Money's good, but it shouldn't just be about money. So we bring it back to money. We see as the traditional, the old-fashioned, although if we go back a few hundred years or Several hundred years. There wasn't much money at all. People just did things and bartered and whatever. But there was always this concept of men make sacrifices for women. Today, I make sacrifices. I do things I don't like to do, but I want to do them because it will earn me money to provide for my wife. And when I do that, dopamine levels go up. And a hormone called testosterone gets released. And testosterone is a hormone that lowers stress for men. It's important that we understand this dynamic of testosterone. Men need to make 30 times more testosterone than women. If I get my hormones tested, if my hormones are not 30 times more than my wife's, we've got problems. Now, just in terms of over the board, any man with low testosterone has got problems. National Institute of Health says the number one risk factor for heart disease is low testosterone. In men, not women. It's a big a male thing here. Low testosterone is, crit testosterone is actually critical to healthy male response, to male energy, to male happiness, to male fulfillment, and all romantic feelings inside of a man have to do with testosterone levels. It's completely a myth. It's completely misunderstanding. It has been corrected by recent research at Stanford University showing that testosterone is not the hormone of aggression. Testosterone gives you the energy to do things, and if you happen to be aggressive, testosterone is going to be there to give you the energy to do it, but it doesn't cause aggression. As a matter of fact, it's low testosterone that causes men to become irritable, grumpy, and if they have low testosterone and a high estrogen, the female hormone, that's where they become violent. It's when men become feminized that they become violent. And there's no more bigger country in the world where you have more violence, more crime, and more women telling men they should be like women. Mm 